Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for what is going to be part number 23 of the ongoing Minneapolis Million Prototype 445 Tractor Number X2 31 Restoration Series. You can see I've got the transmission housing front and center here. That's because I've decided the next step of this process is, is to uh, get this case cleaned up, much like I did to the rear, right, rear end housing over there. And you'll see I've got the serial number tag removed from the side. Uh, I was very careful not to hurt the tag, not to scratch it at all when I was taking those old tacks out. Um, and I wanted to have this, uh, have it off of here so I could get this cleaned up really well, get some paint and primer under there so I don't have rust uh, bleeding through and stuff like that. And in true prototype fashion, you can see we got a bolt hole here right where the tag went. That's because they took an old bolt, cut it off, and turned it into a travel stop for where the torque amplifier lever comes out of the side, out of this hole right here. So. Uh, tag got pretty beat up over the years, but it's still legible and I'll tuck this away somewhere safe And we'll put that back on after we have some paint on there someday. So um, I've been stripping a lot of the parts and pieces out of this You can see I've got all those old bolts out the old plugs out pulled that seal out of there and I'm gonna wheel this outside and uh, Get it cleaned down to bare metal outside as well as inside bell housing area is pretty nasty needs a lot of help and uh, still got some grease to scrape here, but clean up these compartments here. They're pretty dirty too. So I'll get to work on this. Uh, like I say, we'll wheel it outside, avoid uh, spraying all that rust and dust in the shop here and try and make it look a little better. Yeah, getting the big chunks off. Still some original prairie gold paint under there. Stuff's pretty tough, but it's been on there for a long, long time. Decades, I would say. Let's see, we've got what looks like, yep, it's an old cork in there. I guess they uh, couldn't put a bolt in that hole because of the pin for the clutch lever, so they just sealed it with a cork. I'll do the same thing there when I put it back together. Just doing the uh, degreasing process on these compartments now and you can see a whole lot of uh, glitter coming up from the bottom of the torque amplifier compartment still a bunch more way down there in the bottom likely had been some uh, pretty severe failures in there at one time it's even more that came out of there got to get it clean though So after all that work, I'm finally happy with how clean I have the transmission housing, buffed the exterior surfaces down to bare metal, and had the grinders and the drills with the wire brushes on the interior compartments as well. Got all that as clean as I could possibly get it. Chased every threaded hole in the whole piece to make sure all that was in good condition. And I'm going to give all these interior compartments the same gliptol treatment that I did to that rear end housing over there. Like I said, I had wire brushes in here. And I'm very confident that what I put this uh, interior gearbox paint through, that what is left in here is not ever going to come off and should give me a good foundation for the new coating without giving me any problems. Thoroughly, thoroughly degreased and surface prepped all these compartments. So there is no traces of oil left in anything. So it should allow me to reseal all these interior compartments and have a very good case to start putting parts into. Okay, so to start the painting process, I've got the housing flipped upside down and I'm beginning in that center section in there uh, for two reasons. First reason being, if I started out here in the bell housing, I'd have to reach across wet paint to get on into there. 
Uh, second reason is it's just the hardest to get at anyway, and I've still got a lot of patience right now. So, like I said, upside down casting and starting in the center compartment, I can use a brush, really brush it on thick. Um, I can avoid all the machined areas this way as opposed to spraying. I'd have to be masking all that off. And uh, with a brush, you can also work it into all those uh, pores in the cast iron, get it sealed up really well. When I get done, with everything I can see here with it upside down, I'll flip it right side up and continue on. Okay, I'm just finishing the upper perimeter of this center section now. Everything is done down in there, which I'm pretty happy about because that is really not fun trying to reach all those nooks and crannies down there. Finish off this uh, upper portion here and I'll start on the back portion. A little ways into this rear section now, got most of the bottom done and starting to do like the underside contours of things and getting around all the little uh, uh, areas that are kind of tough to reach. Trying to get the undersides of these bosses done right now. And what I'll end up doing is taking this mirror and inspecting the undersides of things to check my progress. See if I'm getting paint where I need to yeah, it can get kind of tedious doing all the nooks and crannies first, but it makes the uh, end result a lot better if you do. Okay guys, finally started on the bell housing up front. Really excited about doing this piece because it's uh, very easy to reach. And hardly any contours to have to get around so this thing's starting to kill the bridge of my nose but just about done so let's get to it and here's the end result pretty happy with how it all looks like i said earlier i uh, did my best to avoid the machined surfaces just as it once was and pretty well got everything uh covered all the way through Got everything that needed to be done. Turn that light off. So, I'm gonna give all this stuff at least a good week to set up um, before it gets exposed to any oil, before I start putting anything in here. But I've got a really good, well-sealed and cleaned transmission case to go along with the well-sealed and cleaned and repaired rear end. And I've got a lot of work to do now, lining up parts and pieces to start putting back into these. So, it's gonna, take me a while to get uh, all that stuff sorted out so that we can begin actually throwing parts back into these housings. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment below, and tune in for the next installment.